Now, can we just get a wee bit of horse? Just until we get that formality over the door. Okay, well this is aptly called Making Friends. The Jacks are going to retire. Jordy's putting his feet up at the fire. Dida bought him a pair of slippers and a zimmer. Kevin brought him a nose hair trimmer. <laughs> Over the years, we've seen them in many guises. As Colorado, they were winning worldwide prizes. Standing ovations from Wembley to Rochelle. With Bobby Kogel, they did the Buckingham of Geordie's Bayern. They toured Europe and the States, counting stars such as George Hamilton as maids. Playing to sell out crowds all over the UK just for the love of music and the pay. Their achievements in country music is phenomenal. They have raised many a theatre and music hall. Their music has inspired many young and old. There's many a story to be told. Now, Jordy's got no knowing ears and creases. Some superstars can tie his laces. <laughs> Master of mandolin, fiddle and guitar, and the occasional jar. Yes, he likes to have a beer or tame now and then. But no matter how his men, how many he's had, he says he always ends up in his own bed. <laughs> Jordy has been a great supporter of NNCMC, playing club nights and his work with HIE. At the festival, Jordy, Kevin, Trevor and Dido, they brought it to an incredible finale crescendo. Now tonight is his final Nashville curtain call, we're going to have a ball. We'll let him play on and see how it ends, but we know, as always, he'll be making friends. Thank you. <laughs> And as long as we have Jordy and the boys, or on a more serious note, I would like to take the opportunity to wish them all the best for whatever they decide to do in the future. Some may say breaking up what a waste of talent, but I'm sure they will put that talent to good use with whatever they think to move on to in the future. Thank you back over the years and asking myself what are my memories of the Jacks? Well, they're so. <laughs> Jordy, I remember the special town hall. Draw her with a new breed. No. It's like they even had a drummer, a uh, drumstick as a souvenir. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. the dynamo, you played at Sky Gallery Ball. Man for three. I think the image of the fancy ball gown fell by the wayside when I got involved with this lot. <laughs> the eighties, Colorado. What's that? What's that? She's been about this. She's been turning on everybody. It is some great nights in the beauty forest. I think it's some comedy festival. Now, this one. I wonder if it might be this. Our morning chat. Sorting out the company music scene over cleaning products. Remember, travelling for cleaning, the cleaning materials. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the golf we band and the jacks, and you know, began in the 90s and the rest is history. Oh, you know more. See, <laughs> <laughs> as I've already mentioned, Jordy was always available for me his advice, and especially when setting up the festival. We, we are very grateful for your help in that. As the Jacks, they've had a very successful career and just as they deserve, not only in this country but all around the globe. Along the way, you've made many friends, of which many are here tonight to join you in what will be your final performance in the NNCMC. There are a lot of disappointed fans who, this year, they won't be seeing you at the festival. When I put out the um, flyers for the festival programme, I would hate to think how many emails I had back 
what no Jack, have you forgotten to put them on the program? So that was the start of it. So anyway, before uh, I hand over to Jordy, I'm sure he'll say a few words. I would like to mark their successful career by giving them a small memento on behalf of NMCMC. much 
we missed the prairies, or, or it's the lonesome in the saddles as my horse died, you know. <laughs> and we kind of avoided that, but, but there's a very distinct difference between country and western. Yeah. 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 Now we're country and chukta. <laughs> It's all over the world. I suppose you think we're cut back. Cut off, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but what, what really gives me a lot of pride is the fact that uh, we used to sit there with our two channels on the telly, in black and white mostly, <laughs> and it would be 1972, 3, 4, something like that. And uh, the Wembley Festival was on BBC Two, eh? something. Couldn't I go there if I had money? If I had a car instead of a push bike, I'd be off. <laughs> and in the course of time, we had the band and we kind of changed our name to country to see if we get a cheap ticket through the heats of the competition. We did. And we did. Because right? we went in by the back door, really. And that's what we did. And we got involved. And in all, all that time, I, I, I met people from all over Scotland, Shetland, Caithness, you name it, Western Islands, they were all down there. And I realised just how big this thing was, you know. And there was Mervyn Con up there in his little balcony like Caesar. <laughs> and we were kind of down there, you know. And then we met, met up with Matchbox Willie and it all kind of was history after that, right? <laughs> anyway. What really gives me pride is Wembley has gone belly up, and even although they tried to come back, it's still gone belly up. And Keithness is going from strength to strength. Woo! More power to you than all the boys. And to have all the boys, I just want to say one more thing, and then I'm done. And that is. There's no man in this room, or even in this country, that's more proud than I am to be standing here with my two sons and Dado. Yeah. Yeah.